Alabama went on the road and beat Ole Miss 30 to 24. Now, Alabama didn't dominate, okay? Junkins was terrorizing the tide for the first half of this game. His stat line to end this matchup was 25 carries, 135 rushing yards, 5.4 yards per carry, and he had two touchdowns. But Alabama still won the game. You know, Quinshawn Junkins had a phenomenal performance. And Ole Miss was up 17-7 to at one point, midway through the second quarter. Yet, Alabama still found a way to come back from behind on the road. And they did it without one of their best players in Jameer Gibbs, who ended up having to leave the game due to an injury. So you're wondering, okay, without Jameer Gibbs, Who's going to be Bryce Young's safety blanket on third down? Because if you've been watching the Tide all season, every time they get put in a third down situation, they spam the ball to Jameer Gibbs, and Jameer Gibbs bails them out. Ole Miss didn't allow that to happen. And to their credit, even before Jameer Gibbs had to exit this game, they were fantastic when it came to limiting the impact that he had on offense for the Tide. However, the Tide still had Bryce Young. And Bryce Young, like he always does, he digs into his little magic hat and he pulls out the Bryce Young magic tricks. The Bryce Young magic is something that can only be described in one way. Every time Alabama's backs are against the wall, they tell Bryce Young, hey man, Go over there and go get your little magic hat real quick. We need you to pull a little trick out real quick. They pull a couple of cards. Bryce Young tells Nick Saban, pick a card. Nick Saban pulls a card and Bryce Young says, okay, coach, I got you. And he goes and he gets it done. For Ole Miss in this game, I was really surprised that they were hanging around. I thought Alabama was going to cover. And I probably was a little bit, you know overzealous for this game in a sense I kind of knew that the chances of Alabama covering in this game were pretty low but I kind of went with them to cover just because I wanted them to prove a point that didn't happen but they still proved a point because they won this game one of my biggest keys for the Rebels winning this game was how efficient can they be throwing the football in big moments We know that the run game was going to be there. However, was Jackson Dart going to be able to make the big throws in the big moments? He wasn't able to. He played a pretty good game. As a matter of fact, I would say that this is probably one of the best games that I've seen Jackson Dart play this season. I don't know about the other performances that he's had. I haven't watched those. But from... The Ole Miss games that I've watched this year, Kentucky, LSU, Vanderbilt, and this one, I think that Dart had a really good performance, and this was probably the best one he had throwing the football. However, the offensive line fell apart in the second half when it came to pass blocking. Alabama was really getting after him. And plus, what has hindered Old Miss all year hindered them again. Their inability to hit the big throws in the passing game in critical moments. There were some throws that Jackson Dart left on the field. And there were some throws that he didn't really have a chance to get a chance to throw. Because the offensive line didn't give him a chance to throw the ball. So for Jackson Dart, he had a pretty good performance. You also look at what he does on the ground for Ole Miss as well. If I had to give him a grade for his performance in this game, I honestly have to give him a B plus. I think that Jackson Dart played insanely well in this game. It's just that in the fourth quarter, there were really big throws that he couldn't make. And it's kind of been the same story with him and this whole entire Ole Miss offense for pretty much the whole entire season. The rain game 
has been there every game. But the passing game, when you need to rely on it to win, hasn't been able to deliver. The force fumble that Ole Miss had early in this game helped them have momentum early. However, similar to their loss against LSU, 45-20 to on the road, they played well in the first half. The run game was there. Their defense looked pretty good. And then this, in the second half, LSU came out. They keyed the run. They forced, L, they forced Ole Miss to put the ball in the air. And they got in trouble. Plus their defense couldn't really get too many stops. And after that, LSU just took control. Now, this game didn't exactly turn out that way but it had a similar way of playing out yes it was a lot closer but I still think eventually when you got into late in the fourth quarter Alabama really started to take control and really grab the win from Ole Miss running back Jace McClellan He was a large reason for why the Tide were able to win this game in the end. I think he was the closer for the Tide. And normally, Jameer Gibbs or Bryce Young ends up being the closer for this team late in games. But McClellan, he was sensational. On the game overall, he finished with 19 carries, 84 rushing yards, 4.4 yards per attempt. He was really good in the fourth. Every time they went to him, he was picking up chunks of yardage. Bryce Young, as I mentioned earlier, consistently delivers every time Alabama's back is against the wall. I wonder, what would Alabama's record be this season if they didn't have Bryce Young? Because there are so many times, they it just seems like you got them against the ropes. You got them down for the count. And Bryce Young just spams the Bryce Young magic and finds a way to put Alabama in position to win this game. Alabama is 8-2. Ole Miss is 8-2. Ole Miss, surprisingly, is only two losses in at this point in the season. I thought that this kind of was going to to be a little bit of a retooling year for Lane Kiffin and company. When you look at how much they lost, over the course of the off season, I think that this has been a really successful season for Ole Miss, regardless of how their last two games end up. And I hope that he doesn't end up leaving for Auburn or another job. I really like him at Ole Miss. I think that as long as he stays at Ole Miss, I think this program has a level where maybe eventually you can end up beating Alabama, not just beating them, but being able to get to the SEC championship. I think next year, with Jackson Dart coming back, going into year two under this system, you also get Quinshawn Junkins for another year. I think that this offense is going to improve when you look at the passing game, the fact that Jackson Dart is going to get way more comfortable. Watch out for Ole Miss next season. And 2023, I know we still have a couple of weeks left of 2022, but, you know, it's nothing wrong with looking ahead. But let me know what you guys think about Alabama's 30-24 to win against Ole Miss on the road. A lot of you guys may be like, oh, JT, Alabama was supposed to win this game. Yeah, they were supposed to win, but let's be honest, if they would have lost this game, You would have been berating Alabama. You would have kept on dragging Alabama like how many people were after they lost against LSU last week. If they would have lost this game, the Alabama's on the decline continues. Alabama's falling off continues. I think that this was a game that Alabama had to win. Okay, it may not have been a big win in terms of making it to the college football playoffs or the SEC championship. But I think that this was a game that we needed to see Alabama win on the road for us to still view Alabama as one of the elite teams in this sport. 
And I know we're not going to completely write off Alabama because of this season. Let's face it, they're probably going to end up winning 10, 11 games, and they're going to be right back in the conversation in the conversation next season. But we kind of looked at Alabama and how they have performed on the road this year. They haven't been good. And this Ole Miss team definitely was good enough to beat Alabama. They just couldn't get the big throws downfield late in the game. And that's why the Tide remain remain the best team or one of the best programs in the West. Because it's just like every time you think you got this team down. And every time it seems like this team is starting to decline. Every time you count them, you count them out. You write off Nick Saban, they come right back. Really impressive win for Alabama. May not be impressive to a lot of you guys watching this, but this was a game that Alabama had to win on the road. Place they struggled at all year, they got it done. 